Okay, so we're going off a trophy list video for you today, and this time we're going to be looking at Gravity Rush Raven. To absolutely nobody's surprise, clearly loves Gravity Rush, and why not? Because it is a fantastic game. And I just want to point out the trophy cabinet because, like, I've never seen this on anything before, but that is just epic. Making the trophies make an image. I don't like if anyone knows of any other games that do this thing. Let me know in the comments down below. This is the first time I've ever seen it. And it's just phenomenal. It's awesome. I would point out that it does make her look like she has got a massive five head. But still, image is quality. But yeah, so before we jump in, I just want to quickly say, as always, thank you for the love, the support, and the patience. Uh, 163 platinum trophies to get through. So let's get cracking. Uh, so we start with Absolute Drift. Uh, never played it myself. I know it's um, a racing car game. Well, don't know if you'd call it a racing car game, drifting game, bit of both. Uh, but impressive. 4 out of 10 difficulty, 18.24% on that. Then we've got Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. I've spoke about this a couple of times. You know, it's a classic, but I just... I don't know, like they must have made classic games so hard back in the day, but I didn't realise it as a kid. These days, I can't even, like, I probably could now, but when I first put this on, I, I struggled on the first, very first level. Uh, we then got arcade game series Dig Dug, uh, and then the Gallagher, absolutely, like, classic, absolute classic Gallagher. We then got Art of Rally, 27.36% on that. Uh, and, and I'm going to take a wild guess and say, um, potentially a uh, racing car game fan as well because next up we've got asphalt legends unite uh 5.98 percent on that so fair play uh i think that might be the first time i've ever seen that one on any of the lists next up is astro's playroom the platinum that everybody should have even though it took a long long time for me to get it and for and ignore me i was about to say it took you a long time as well but as i established through the comments in a previous video the dlc being uh relatively recent means that 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 date changes i don't know when it was actually platinumed but fair play regardless then we've got uh i think it's pronounced barger edge of control um not 100 percent sure i've seen it a couple of times ne never on a list i don't think but I believe this is a race game as well. If I'm wrong, correct me down down in the comments. Um, but 1.83% on that one, so fair play. Uh, Batman the Telltale series, nice. Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield Bad Company 2. Triple nice, 6.47%. And the DLC, 0.86. On Battlefield 4, even rarer, 5.99% on the Platinum and 0.63 on the DLC, and then Bad Company 2, 6.24%, and 1.09 on the DLC. Three trophies right there that just blow all of my 88 Platinums out the water straight off the bat. Fair play, mate. Um, then we got Balloons Terror Defense. I mean, this is just mad. I, I, I looked at this the other day, and, I, and I, I've, in my head I was thinking like, it's not it's not a kid's game, but it kind of looks like a kid's game. And I thought, like, yeah, that, that that's not going to be very difficult. And I clicked on the guide, and I was like, well, like, okay. Yeah, 4 out of 10, not very difficult. But 115 hours, Christ. But fair play on this one, 7.01% on that. Very, very nice. Then we've got your most recent Platinum. I know that that's usually, like, the uh, milestone thing, but I, I did notice that this was uh, at the top. Um, as, as your most recent we've got Borderlands so very nice on that one sorry throat's giving me a bit of grief again uh, Borderlands 2 next very nice I'm actually shocked at how much uh, rarer Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel fair play okay so Borderlands 1 29.06% Borderlands 2 7% with the DLC which is 2.2% um, and then Borderlands, the pre-sequel, 3.27% and 2.09 on the DLC. Can't, can't go wrong with Borderlands. 
Um, then we've got Burnout Paradise Remastered. Absolutely fantastic game. Looks like you've done... Ooh, actually, is that legit? 15 hours, done it in one night. One... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say legit. So you've done that twice legit. PS4, both times. Okay, EUNA. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, the NA version, 10.55%. You're missing one trophy on that. Oh, that's a that's a kicker in the teeth. Uh, I wonder. I'm actually intrigued to know what that one trophy is, but uh, I'll I'll probably come back and have a look. Uh, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Remastered. Nice, 8.87 percent. I always find that Call of Duty's are really low. I think my Modern Warfare 2 Platinum is like relatively uh, low as well, even though. The Platinum itself isn't that difficult, but it's just because of how many people play them. Um, then we've got Carmageddon Max Damage, 3.13% on that, so fair play. Very, very nice. It, it, again, it's just screaming out to me, racing car, like car games. Uh, cars free next, driven to win, 12.83% on that. we then got Castle Crashers. Uh, I mean... Castle Crashers is such such a laugh. I played it like the original on I think it was Xbox like years and years ago. And every time I go on the store and I see like the the remaster or like the the reupload whatever it's called, it just makes me want to play it. Uh, but seven point eight five percent on that, so very very nice. We then got Claire eleven point nine nine. Um, I believe that is that the horror game. I believe. I say I believe a lot, don't I? Well, I believe I should stop saying it. I should shut up. Um, Concrete Genie next. Nice. Uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. On the PS3. Oh, okay. So, was was that was that actually a PS3 game? Because, like, I, I've played Counter-Strike on PC. But I didn't realise that there was actually a Counter-Strike on console. Interesting. But fair play on that platinum, 22.81% on that. We then got dangerous driving, 11.35%. Um, is that the one where you have to smash up all the cars and you like destroy the city and stuff? I could be completely wrong. I could be thinking about something different. But if it is, nice. Uh, Deer Simulator, quite a high percentage on that one. Didn't take you too long either. Destruction All Stars, very nice. Um, I mean, the game's broken, broken as hell now. I think, like, I'm pretty sure I, I watched a video not too long back where somebody was complaining that the the developers, the like, you know, the, the people who work on the game have basically just deserted it. They've just left it to rot. Um, but fair play on getting the platinum, one point four six percent, and I will be back. Okay, sorry about that. My boy woke up. He was telling me he wanted to get in the uh, trophy list review himself, but I was like, not yet, mate. Another few more years. Uh, carrying on then. So we got Dirt 4. 5.03% on that. That is, uh, that's one hell of a platinum trophy. And then follows that up with Dirt 5 twice. Oh, I'm guessing that's an auto pop. It says that it took the exact same amount of time completed on the same day uh, so we'll only go with the rarer one so it's 15.43 percent on the ps5 uh, then we've got dirt rally 2.0 which is a 1.67 percent fair play oh god the throat is starting to really get bother me again uh, driver san francisco very very nice back on the ps3 2.74 percent on that one very very nice then we've got endling extinction is forever uh, double stack of fall guys ultimate knockout one of them being an auto pop uh, but the legit one uh, what's or hmm i don't know what or is but regardless 2.08% on that, so very, very nice. Don't know if that was done legit or with the the events that made it easier. Regardless, I haven't got it because it is too uh, difficult. Like, I've won a fair few times. I've won multiple times in a row, never five. Um, 
We then got Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. Nice. Probably considered the best for Far Cry game. I do think, however, that the Classic Edition is a little bit janky. Um, it, everyone's each to their own, though. Fast and Furious, Spy Racers, Rise of the Shifter. I've heard that that's absolutely trash. Um, I'm not judging you for completing it and platinum in it. I just mean like the game itself. I've heard that it, it had potential, but it ended up being ridiculously shit. Um, then we got Gear Club Unlimited 2. 24% of the platinum on that. Well, 24% platinum percentage on that. We've then got Goat Simulator twice. Looks legit. 21.53% uh, being the lowest one. Uh, that's with the PS4 edition. Golf with friends, with your friends rather, uh, 5.81 and 0.3% on the DLC. Very, very nice. Followed by Gran Turismo 6, Gran Turismo 7 twice and Gran Turismo Sport, which holy moly. Okay, 6.02% on Gran Turismo 6, so fair effing play, that's on the PS3. Gran Turismo 7 uh, looks like it, even though there's a bit of discrepancy between the times, I'm going to guess that that was like a partial or mo mainly auto pop, but 9.14 on the PS5. But then Gran Turismo Sport, six years, one week, 0.95%, 9 out of 10 difficulty, 250 hours. my lady like no ifs so or buts about it like that that is fucking phenomenal that is a, a platinum that like wipes the floor with almost every single other platinum that i've ever seen almost but it, it's right up there right right up there oh, fucking hell there's another one um okay so grand theft auto 3 for the ps5 Grand Theft Auto 4, PS3 edition, 0.96%. So only a 0.01% less rare than the Gran Turismo Sport, but fair play again. Another 9 out of 10, 90 hours. We've then got Grand Theft Auto 5, three times, PS3, PS4, PS5. First two done legit, 1.63%, 2% both took 200 hours grand theft auto 5 on the ps5 you know uh looks like your partial or main mostly uh, auto pop regardless fair effing play on all of those uh grand theft auto san andreas twice as well uh done legit ps4 edition 12.02 percent and the ps5 13.87 percent then we've got a triple stack of voice city uh, I'm going to take a guess that that one is partial auto pop. First one, obviously done legit. Ten point, excuse me, ten point eight five percent fair play. Uh, maybe an auto pop, but thirteen oh two percent, and then the PS five edition, uh, definitive edition, um, thirteen point four two percent. Nice, nice, nice. We then have gravel. I believe that's another racing game, 36.18%. Uh, and then, of course, we, we, we all knew it was going to be here, but we got Gravity Rush, Gravity Rush 2, and Gravity Rush Remastered. So, original Gravity Rush was on the Vita. It's 13.88%. DLC, 4.18%. Gravity Rush 2, you got that as well, 14.8%. And the DLC, which is 8.65%. And then the remaster, obviously being more accessible on the PS4 rather than rather than the Vita, 23.9% uh, and the DLC 19.89%. The one thing I will say about Gravity Rush, like they are phenomenal games, like I really enjoyed my time with the, with it, but the the movement just made me feel so sick. It's the, the only game that's made me feel that bad just from like the constant movement like motion sickness or some shit i don't know but ph phenomenal games and fair play on those three <clears throat> we've then got grid 
Grid 2 and Grid Legends. Pick of the Bunch is Grid 2, 3.29%. Um, the OG Grid, 6.47%. Um, and the DLC, 3.22. Grid Legends, the DLC on that one, 1 1.5. Very, very nice. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed, 7%, 2.05% on the DLC. I'm actually surprised that that isn't higher. Because, yes, it's grindy. But it's not that difficult. Like, I started to do this and only stopped because other games came out that I really wanted to play more than it. Um, we've then got Hot Shot Racing for the PS4. 3.96% on that one. 3.44% of the DLC. Whew. We've then got Jack 2, Jack 3 and Jack X Combat Racing. Um, second list in... I don't know if it's in a row, but... No Jack one, like Jack and Daxter, the precursor orb or whatever it's called. Like, do, do people just not like that one or or, or what? Uh, we then got Jet Moto, which one hour, 49 minutes, even though the guide says 10. Pass. Uh, Kanjo Zoku, I think that is. It, Two hours, 20 minutes. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything special. Uh, Lego 2K Drive. Very nice. 3.42% uh, on that one. I know I know that there's a long ass grind in this one. Hence why the 60 hours according to the guide. Um, when it came out on PS Plus, I considered it. And it was the long ass grind that just put me off. But fair play. Uh, Life is Strange, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Life is Strange True Colours, nice, 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 uh, Lost Wing, whatever that is, Mafia, okay, um, for the PS4, so 21.3% on that, uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, fantastic game, Minecraft, very nice, uh, missing 14 trophies, but obviously from the DLC, uh, then we got Minute, it's a fantastic little game. It's one that I need to play again. Uh, I think I played it originally on my old account, or old slash alternative account. Um, probably should go back to it, or at least get it on my current account. Uh, Monster Energy Supercross. Like, I don't know if it's because like those games just aren't for me, but all the Monster games just they feel really cheap and tacky and and like not very good in my opinion but i'm i'm happy to be proven wrong if somebody wants to tell me a really good one uh, but fair play on the platinum 7.54 percent on that uh, moto gp 14 is that like a 2014 game I'm, I'm not too well known with like racing games because they're, they're probably the one genre of game that I've not ever got a platinum on to be honest um, I probably should put that right at some point but fair play 14.97 then we got MXV ATV Legends uh, on PS4 3.88 and then the auto pop on PS5 uh, but that is 2.67% excuse me We've then got My Name is Mayo twice, My Name is Mayo 2, My Name is Mayo 3, because why the hell not? Uh, Need for Speed, 23.61% on that. Need for Speed Heat, Hot Pursuit twice, Payback, Unbound, unbound. Uh, Hot Pursuit again, but not the remaster. Uh, Most Wanted twice, Rivals twice, and as far as I can tell, None of those are auto pops, so yeah, fair play on all of these need for speeds, especially uh, most wanted on the Vita 5.42%, and uh, on the PS3 5.8%, and the DLC for 0.55%, and rivals on the PS3 5.72%. Very, very very nice uh on rush next 6.7 percent six out of ten difficulty 25 hours 
I actually picked this up in the store a couple of days ago and I do believe that this is unobtainable now. I'm happy to be proven wrong. I'm always happy to be proven wrong. Um, Peggle 2, nice. Pinball Heroes twice. Uh, plastic, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator, whatever the hell that is. Kind of intrigued. Um, I'm going to take a drink because my throat is killing me. I would like to say much better, but that didn't really help. Uh, Project Cars 2, 3.26 on that, so very nice. And then Project Cars 3, looks like they made the Platinum on that one a lot easier. As it's 20.85%. Uh, Pursuit Force, 35.23% on that one. Rally Cross. <clears throat> then we got Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Fair play. Uh, red out next 3.16 percent on that one uh i believe i've said it again uh that is the i know i know it's a racing game but is that the one that's like similar to wipeout i believe i believe I, i'm gonna i'm gonna tr learn not to say that anymore uh retro pixel racers next then road bustle then of course rocket league very nice all the dlcs as well so 1.35 on that saints row the third nice uh sebastian loeb rally evo 14.43 on percent on that very very nice sega mega drive and genesis classics 9.25 percent on that now <clears throat> i remember having this on my ps3 i, bl I believe it was uh, ps3 might have been very early ps4 um, but I know there's a whole host of different games from the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis era. Like, is it is it easy? Because I could have swore that there was there was games like Fantasy Star on it. Was it just a case of completing each game and and that was a single trophy each? I don't know. Let me know down there. Uh, Shakedown Hawaii, uh, Slipstream, which. I have uh, started working on another video and it does include this game because I believe it was Gravity Rush Raven who uh, uh, recommended it to me in uh, in the Discord. If you want to join that Discord, the link is down below. Um, but yeah, I, I know about Slipstream. Looks fantastic. For, for, a, for a, a basic um, old game that has definitely taken inspiration from like the old sega arcade game uh, outrun uh, but yeah fair play on that one. Oh, i mean we got slide but then split second mate that's all i'm saying absolutely fantastic game absolutely fantastic game i, I brought that the other day like i loved it when it came out originally uh, and then I've picked it up since, uh, just in case I want to have a blast on it again. Split second, and I think it was was the other one called Blur. Uh, two of the greatest game, two of the greatest racing games I've ever played, uh, both from the PS3 era. <clears throat> but yeah, fair play. Four point six three percent on that one. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing game. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Very nice. And then Cosmic Shake as well. Uh, Stray, the greatest cat game ever. Subnautica, I can never play that. I, I don't like under the sea kind of games like Deep Water, like it, some trauma or something going on. Uh, then we got Super Street, no idea what that is. Tabletop Racing World Tour, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that that's similar to the old school Micro Machines. But 7.16% on that with a 0.68% DLC. Tales from the New Borderlands. Uh, minus the new Tales from the Borderlands. Um, and then we got Team Sonic Racing. Fair play, first off and foremost. Second off, I hate this game. I was so close to the Platinum way back in the day before I was even a Platinum Hunter. And my my save corrupted i was so close i think i've got like three trophies left 
and I'd be, and like there were the grindy ones and I was working on them. Like I beat all of the cups on expert difficulty. Like it was annoying because like even if you finished first on some of the Grand Prix, if your t AI teammates finish like last and last but one, the other team can still beat you. It's so annoying, but I was so close. Uh, then we've got the crew. <clears throat> Before I go on a, um, an even bigger tangent, the crew, 0.97% on that one, so fair play. And then the crew too, 10.67%. We've then got the Order 1886, fantastic game. Uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, PS4 and PS5 versions. Uh, it looks like they are both legit. We then got Rainbow Six Extraction. I'm, I'm two trophies away from this. Th th this may be my next Platinum, depending on what I can fit in uh, before I next play it with the, with the guy I'm playing it with. 6.78% uh, on that one. Very nice. Um, Rainbow Six Siege twice, the auto pop on PS5 and done legitimately on PS4, 11.18. Track Mania Turbo, 0 0.74. Jeez Louise. <sighs> Mate, I need, I need to stop doing these trophy lists and start actually grinding trophies because these lists are just making me feel like such a bum with my my own account like my own account is nothing special but i want it to be all these lists i'm currently doing at the moment are just like blowing mine out of the water making me so jealous uh, we've then got uncharted drake's fortune among uh, among thieves remastered and drake's deception remastered very nice for on those three untitled goose game unturned uh, which is a 1.25 if i am correct unturned is the little block people and you can like pick up guns and shoot them and I, i'm i'm guessing there's more to the game than that but i think I'm, I'm going back to my uh league of legends days now i know i used to play that game a lot uh, and yes i was one of those toxic people um but trick 2g had a video off this one where it was like uh oh what was it called purple beard purple beard or something he was like later anyway one two five percent on that one fair play uh v rock no idea we were here beautiful little story fair play on that one speaking of beautiful little stories what remains of edith finch very nice uh wild tracks racing now this is nice because usually those those last three are like the end of almost everyone's list this one continues because of all the rally games or world racing championships um but wild tracks racing nice uh wolfenstein the new order nice and then we got wrc 10 three four five twice six seven eight nine generations very 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 nice and i'll pick out seven six and eight four point zero five percent four point eight two percent and five point four four percent on those three very very nice dude um just gonna quickly ask are, are the two fives the exact same game they're just the uh game art is different because of the different consoles uh, no idea, but fair play on all of them. We've then got Wrecked Revenge Revisited. No idea. Four hours and two minutes. Uh, but it's not the highest of Platinum, so fair play. Uh, Wreckfest twice. Both look done legit as well. 10.53% on the PS4 version. A little bit higher on the PS5 version. We've then got Exxon Racer. Uh which is 13.82 12.57 dlc as well uh Z xenon what did i say exxon or oh, xenon uh racer and then xenon valkyrie plus uh no idea what that is i know i've clicked on it a couple of times but i i don't know i don't really know what it is and then just to prop everything else up we've got zippy the circle level one and level two so 
I'm conscious of time. But the hundred percent. So interaction isn't explicit, but nice. Firewatch, fantastic game. Sonic the Fighters, I'm clicking it because I have no idea what that is and I love Sonic. Uh, Danger Zone, that's the one where you race and you have to destroy everything, isn't it? But that's a 7.24%. Wheel of Fortune, meh. Tabletop Racing, I'm guessing another uh, like m Micro Machines one. Uh, MotoGP 14 Compact, Fruit Ninja, Uno, which is 3.73. Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, which is a 1.39%. Obviously, these are all 100%. There's no Platinums, but people like to see these as well, apparently. So, I'll give you what you want. Uh, Daytona USA, uh, Kinetica, 2.62%. Off-Road Racing, Buggy X ATV X Moto, 2.79%. Sega Rally Online Arcade, 7.94%. Uh, we've got Monopoly, Lethal VR, Garfield Kart Furious Racing, which is a 5.32%. Uno again, which is a little bit higher than the last one, 3.94%. Uh, Cell Damage, Adventure Capitalist, Gone Home, Danger Zone 2, Twisted Metal Black, which I'm very surprised is only at an 8.21%. I thought that would have been higher with it being on the uh, PlayStation Plus Premium, I believe it is. Uh, Hawken, no idea what this is, but 0.80% on that, so fair play. Uh, Gabucci, Pirate Flight, the Pedestrian, VR Pigeons, because why not? Doom 64, Cuties Hacked. Uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon Classic Edition, Abzu Coaster, Capcom Arcade Stadium, 0.52 on that. Uh, Disc Jam, Capcom Arcade Second Stadium, 1.12 on that one. Uh, Double Dragon, Discovery, Caravan Stories. Now, I am going to point this one out because I do know a little bit about this. I don't know what the game actually consists of, but I have seen that the guide says something like 125 hours. But you've done it in 19 minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, and then we end, we end it with HiQ Ace and HiQ Ace Unlimited. Uh, so, very nice dude. Um, as always, let's go up to the milestones. Finish this one off, because it is uh, gone on slightly longer than uh, I like these to do. So, But when you're having fun... Why not? Uh, so your first platinum was Need for Speed. Tenth platinum was Burnout Paradise Remastered. Twentieth uh, platinum was Astro's Playroom. Thirtieth platinum was Squ Bunch Got Bob Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Fortieth platinum was Art of Rally. Fiftieth platinum was Fall Guys. Six seventy fifth platinum was Gravity Rush Two. Of course. Of course, 100th Platinum was Gravity Rush. Why not? Absolutely, why not? Uh, 125th Platinum was We Were Here. Uh, and then your latest Platinum was the Borderlands Platinum. Before we end it, I've just got to ask, have you changed your PSN name to Gravity Rush Raven uh, like while you've been Platinum Hunting? Or has this always been your name and you just played the very long game by making sure that Gravity Rush was your 100th Platinum? Like, let me know down, down in, in the comments because regardless, I'm just in awe. And I, I love that picture. Absolutely love that picture. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the list. Went on a little bit longer than uh, I would have liked it to, but it's just because I was in awe, to put it bluntly. I just loved reading through all the games. All those absolutely mind-numbing, mind-boggling low percentages. Uh, and yeah, just a fantastic list. So take the hat off. Absolutely amazing. Um, and if you want your list to be uh, reviewed in the future, just leave your PSN name down in the comments and I will add you to the list. We are slowly starting to speed up and get through some of these a bit quicker. So, happy days. 
and off the top of my head off the top of my head uh mr nobody i think is next if not i'll put the correct name up here and it'll be on the uh the end screen as well so thank you very much for watching everybody much love and peace